we got this tractor back i'm gonna run it a little bit right here and uh we'll see uh how it acts
I was gonna show you. Um, they put this like a uh, module on here to where it'll send the signal back and they can kind of monitor it. If it throws codes and this and that, they can sort of diagnose and monitor how the tractor's operating remotely by that thing. Um, they did the fueling update and basically what it did is sort of just change the timing as on the fuel delivery and stuff and i really believe it's made the difference um i ran it quite a bit this evening i ran around rachel's chapel and back on the road I'm tramming it on the roads where i would notice that hard fuel knock the most and um i didn't i haven't heard it at all since we've got it back and um i've tried to put it in some conditions that i knew that it would do the fuel knock and it hasn't um it has a little combustion knock um or chatter it's not a knock more just a chatter and but it's consistent now um some of you that's been around the 2600 series massey ferguson's they've got a little bit of that fuel uh chatter or uh, you know combustion chatter and it's a little more like that now is what it's doing instead of that real hard solid knock and uh I think they've come up with a pretty good solution. I'm anxious to run it some more and see. Um, I've been told that some of the corporate people might come here uh, in a couple of weeks <coughs> and, you know, kind of consult with me, see how it's doing, uh, run it a little bit and um, get some feedback on it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be made available to everybody right now. They put it on mine and I think a couple tractors in North Carolina, no, it was in Georgia maybe. I believe it was in Georgia. So, uh, kind of testing it to see how it goes. I think they've got to run it through um, emissions testing and things to try to get, um, make sure that it's gonna pass emissions, which I don't see why it wouldn't because it probably has a little less puffs of smoke now than it did before. Um, actually, I think they've—I really think they've done a good job on it. I—I uh, I wish they could have done that a long time ago for everybody's benefit. But I'm glad they're making progress, and I'll keep you updated as things go along. But uh, I want to do this little quick update video. Um, if you're having that fuel knock issue keep in touch with your dealership and hopefully something will be made available uh, to everybody here shortly and um, we'll keep running this thing and see how it goes and uh, feel pretty good about it feel pretty good so um, if you think about buying one of these 5e tractors you you could go ahead you know uh, and they, might, they could do the fueling update once it's made available or you might want to wait a little bit and catch one of them that has it on it from the start but uh, once I know more you'll know more I'll pass it along but I'd appreciate everybody working with me at Mead Tractor and the corporate deer and things and them trying to find a fix for these tractors um, one of the people I'd talked with the most at Mead is no longer there. I don't know if he left on his own or if something else happened or what, but uh, he, I think he helped me out quite a bit too. And uh, I hope that the decision to change jobs was on his, was his decision and not for other reasons because he was really good to help me and stayed in good communication with me and everything through all this and then just all of a sudden poof gone so um yeah that's all i've got but uh got any questions leave them in the comments i'll try to answer them but basically it's just nothing wrong with the engine itself it's just the the timing and fuel delivery and things had to be tweaked a little bit in the computer and um that's done the trick, I think. But uh, appreciate y'all watching. If you will, please like, subscribe, and comment. And we will talk to you later.